And now I'm going to try to get as much speed as I can out of this little swing. Small, turn and smaller, bang. Hey there, welcome to Hawtree Golf. Today I'd like to help you train and get a feel for the proper release. And by so doing, generate a lot of speed. It's difficult to do when you are hitting or doing a full swing, it's just too fast. Uh, when practicing, when practicing full swings, it's better to work on body turn, lowering of the arms, etc. And the release will occur automatically. But there is a way where you can actively release the club and practice the timing, and that's by doing short half little swings. So I've got a nice little club, I've got a 9 iron and I'm going to do a few practice swings and please you should also start with practice swings. Uh, you will automatically hinge your wrist on the back swing but I want you to hold the club so lightly that when you change direction and changing direction means starting with the knees, hips, stomach uh, and when you uh, drop your arms and allow the shaft to flatten slightly then and when you hold the club really lightly then the, sh the angle between the shaft and the arm will automatically become smaller. So now we can release the club. So if you start that way you're now able to actively release use both hands left and right to a point out there because that's where I want to end my release and not over here. So if I'm able to release to that point, I can generate so much speed and you too through the ball. So I'll just start off gently thinking turn and let the angle um, become smaller. And now I'm going to try to get as much speed as I can out of this little swing. Small, turn and smaller, bang. And you'll really feel real action, real speed through the ball. 